What's way more dangerous than most people think? Water currents. Riptides in the ocean and eddy currents in streams. We have some river canyons with signs describing all of the ways you can die in the river and people still die swimming there. Walking downstairs with your hands in your pockets. Never ever do it. Especially not drunk. A fall down even one or two stairs with no hands to catch you can break your neck. I've seen a video of a man tripping and falling down four stairs. Hitting the top of his head on the wall and dying right there in the stairwell. Not getting regular checkups. I almost died because I had an internal hemorrhage that was slowly killing me. I was so depleted of iron and blood that the nurses thought my vitals were written in wrong because I should have been dead. I needed 3 pints of blood in one sitting. Mold. It can be poisonous. Palm trees. Cat bites. Hiking in Arizona heat. A kind of random one. But don't eat uncooked slugs or snails. They can have parasites that will make you paralyzed and eventually kill you. An Australian kid died a couple of years ago from it. An awful way to go. I think I'm safe from this one. Towing a stuck car with a chain. If there's one thing I'll always stress. It's a real tow rope. Endless uses. Not that expensive. You'll probably only ever need to buy one. Blocking your nose when you sneeze. Though it's rare. You can damage blood vessels in your eyes and nose. You can rupture your eardrum. And you can even have an aneurysm. Bites from other human beings are actually really dangerous due to infection rates. A friend bit me once. I turn into her every full moon. Driving tired. Sleepy. Being knocked unconscious. Lots of popular media makes it seem like a minor thing that an average person can shrug off after a short period. In reality. If you are ever knocked out. Then you have suffered brain damage. It's possible there might not be any lasting effects. But it's a serious injury and you 100% need to see a doctor if it ever happens to you. Roadworks. Yalef has got to stop speeding past my elaborate road cone setup because a hard hat and orange vest will not save me if you go amiss. People know that rip currents are dangerous. But don't think about them as a real threat often enough. Deep cuts on your fingertips. They're called felons and can infect your bloodstream. Clean them out and if you see a red line traveling up your arm. Get yourself to the ER immediately. My neighbor almost died from this when she cut her finger on her violin string. Edit. Removed my advice about changing tires. My main point was don't go under your car if the tires off without a jack stand. But that should be obvious. Driving. Like you see the statistics of car crash deaths but I don't think you ever truly realize how dangerous it is to simply drive somewhere since it is such a routine thing. Eating a lot of spinach. Believe it or not people have had kidney failure from 3 spinach smoothies in a day. This is due to the higher levels of oxalic acid. Attempting to change garage door springs without knowing what you're doing can kill you. Electricity. People seem to have little understanding or respect for it. Not getting enough sleep. Mosquitoes. My friend slipped in the bathroom whilst trying to catch a mosquito and hit his head hard on corner of the sink. Spent two weeks in a coma after that. The phrase we've always done it this way. Doing nothing for a long period of time. Sitting in your car when it's broken down on the side of the road. Put your hazards on people. My great grandfather was driving down a road and saw a woman with a flat tire. Decided to help her out. Parked his car in front of hers and was grabbing his tire iron out of his trunk. Somebody didn't see her car, didn't have her hazards on, and slammed into the back of her car. Her car flew forward and hit great grandpa's car. Pinning him in between. He survived. But lost both legs above the knee. So yeah. Not wearing sunblock. A lot of household chemicals. Mix the wrong stuff and it's game over our seriously hurt. Shti. 
Reading all of this and wondering how am I alive. And still have teeth. Not taking antibiotics to kill a sinus infection. Listening to loud music using earbuds. Or really any headphones. Having permanent hearing damage sucks. Roosters are dicks. Make sure you're on their good side. Mine has bitten and scratched me more times than I can count. Cocks are dicks. BBQing indoors. Edit. I'd like to expand to running generators indoors. 2. Moose. Bigger threat to people up here than bears. Edit. Clarification by up here I mean Canada. Another clarification we have a lot of moose and not a lot of grizzly bears. The more common bears black bears while still shouldn't be provoked. Are a lot smaller and more timid than grizzlies. Not to mention everyone knows to be afraid of bears. They're large carnivores. Most people don't know to be afraid of moose. Hitting a moose with your car is pretty well a guaranteed fatality but it's also highly underestimated how dangerous these things can be on their own. They can be around the same height as a transport truck and have a nasty temper if you decide to bug one. Texting while driving. Put your fking phone away you fck. Trying to repair power supplies or old CRT TVS. Monitors. If you know what you're doing you might not die. If you don't get your affairs in order. These devices even unplugged can release enough electricity to kill you instantly. When I was leading computer repair my instructor called them with Dalmakas and to avoid repair of them. Breaking up with someone even when there was no domestic violence in their relationship. My daughter was killed by her ex-boyfriend for breaking up with him. There are many men and women killed for this same reason. Living alone. If you get seriously injured or ill at home and you're unable to reach a phone. Your chances of survival are much lower than if you have at least one other person in the house sold. Power wishes. Guy at my work literally held the nozzle of one up to his face to see what it was working and thank Christ the doofus was wearing a face shield. Not going to the doctor when something is wrong. You errant macho for not going. It doesn't make you more of a man. It makes you an idiot. If you live in America and don't have insurance I'm not talking about you. We all know these people though. I'm not going to no damn doctor. I'm fine. I knew guy who hadn't been to the doctor in 30 years. 30 years. Always bragged about it. Never sick. Blah blah blah. One day he goes to the doctor because he loses a shti ton of weight for no reason in the span of a month. Turns out he has so much cancer in his fking body that he's a walking miracle. Stomach. Colon. Lung. And it was in his lymph node. Doctors gave him a prognosis of like 4 months with aggressive treatment. He foregoes the treatment and died in a month. Go to the fking doctor. Your best chance against cancer is early detection. Hell that's with everything. If you wait too long it might be too late to do anything. Not trusting your gut instinct about people. There's a reason you have that little feeling of oh oh no I'm uncomfortable get me away. Listen. Misinformation. Glade plugins. My childhood friend's house burned down because of one of them. Also. A plug-in battery charger burned down a customer's garage. Hippos kill more people than lions do. Eating raw cashews. Living beyond your means. Always having to leverage assets and become financially overextended in order to have things here and now. Getting knocked out. You're at risk of a concussion or brain bleed. Tylenol. About 500 people die in the US every year from overdose. Edit. The same as paracetamol. Acetaminophen. Affirmative. Map up. Fever all. Wild animals. Most people know that they're dangerous. But they don't think about how dangerous they are. An example of this would be something small like a rat. They carry diseases and can destroy stuff if not taken care of. Drinking alcohol. Not even getting drunk. I have cirrhosis mostly because I love beer. Whiskey. And food. I now have incredible pain. Anxiety. And have to take meds that are awful. 
The only fix is a transplant. The catch is. You have to be almost dying to get a chance at one. Enjoy. Not every day. Not too much. Avoid the binge. Good people. Escalators. Crossing train tracks when a train is coming. People do it every day. So clearly don't realize how dangerous it is. Until they are hit by the train and are killed. This is one of those things you wouldn't expect on this list. But if people realized how dangerous it actually was. People wouldn't tempt their fate each day to save a few minutes. Blunt kitchen knives. It may seem obvious but they're more dangerous than sharp kitchen knives. A falling knife doesn't have a handle. Let it fall and step away. Camels can be pretty dangerous. They can sometimes even decapitate people by biting their heads off. Hiking in the woods with earpieces in. Even in a suburban area. It seems innocent enough. But not being fully aware of your environment can you lead you to not notice snakes or coyotes. Resting your eyes for a few seconds after you turned off the alarm. Being overconfident while driving. Or believing that cars will always stop for you. This is a very easy killer. This whole post gave me anxiety. The desperation of your fellow man with nothing left to lose. Blowing into an orifice. Butthole. Vagina. Etc. Excuse me what? A woman scorned. Im lady and the chemicals in the water are turning the frigging frogs gay. Calling the police for a forged $20. Apparently. Giving your own question platinum with an alt account. Bold of you to assume that I'd spend money on reddit. Rubber bullets. Depression people who assume will say also just be happy never actually f king rode the horse. Edit. Ripsh T. 250 likes. I. Edit. I never expected to hit this like this 460 likes. Taking medical advice from the president. How tf does this post already have a platinum and gold? Because OP gifted himself. Letting a tampon sit for too long. It can lead to blood poisoning and you'll eventually die. Birth control. I'm currently bedridden and unable to walk but considered lucky because a blood clot caused by my birth control didn't break off and kill me. Apparently this is a common side effect too. Frying food. A friend came over. And me and my roommates made dinner w her. Buffalo chicken and. For me. The vegetarian. Buffalo cauliflower. We pretty much just dropped the chicken and cauliflower in big Olay pots of oil. It was fun and delicious. The friend that come over happens to work in a restaurant. And she told the head chef there about what an amazing day she'd had. Making buffalo chicken and cauliflower with us. Well he flipped out. Saying frying food without the proper equipment. Thermometer. That. ETC. Is super dangerous. We could have easily set the house on fire. Admittedly. When our friend told us this. Me and my roommates kinda just shrugged our shoulders. Since. We've made fried ice cream. Tostones. Yucas fritters. And sweet potato fries. And the house hasn't burnt down yet. It's still dangerous though. They're just reckless. Social media. Sticking your finger in the McDonald's large soda cup hole. It looks spiky with the like 4-5 triangles going inwards. My straw wouldn't go in so I stuck my finger in there and holy shit it's like a trap. Hurts a little. You might bleed. Credit cards. Putting your feet up on the dashboard as a passenger. Jared from Subway. The last time I was in Yellowstone I watched a group of women walk though a herd of elk to stay on the trail. Rather than walk around them which was an easy detour. One of them simply turned his neck and bit one of them on the shoulder. Not the most serious wound. But it ended her day. Respect wildlife. COVID-19. Wear a friggin mask. Overworking yourself. 
My co-worker was just taken by ambulance to the hospital today for overworking himself. He had 180 heart rate. I am still in waiting back to see if he is alright. Deep cuts. Self-harm. Comma if you got something important but are normalized to seeing her blood. Bad things can go unnoticed and lead to amputation. Unprotected sx with a stranger. Rabies. Once you experience symptoms. You're dead. This is unless you've been vaccinated prior or soon after being contaminated. I think. Otherwise. It's the only virus with a 100% mortality rate. Police officers apparently. Peacefully protesting. Illiteracy. Even if you don't like reading books. Most sites are still text based. Imagine not being able to do most things because you can't read the directions. It's like having a lifetime of IKEA furniture setups at every decision. After being dropped into another country where you don't speak the language. And without the formulative thinking skills that develop from our time reading we completely lack the ability to think critically. Most people think. But are wrong based on flawed logic and anecdotal, biased, experiences. If you think that's bad. Imagine no one thinking at all. Looting. There is a lot of dialogue online about forgiving looting and seeing it instead as a valid form of protest. Very ignorant. It will only lead us closer and closer to having to face an extremely militarized police force when we protest. Let's stop pretending like looting isn't going to have consequences on us. We can't excuse it any more than it already has been excused online for the past 24 hours. Alcohol. Driving and fking with your phone. Holy shit you people should see yourself. Being black in America. Black on black crime is a real tragedy. Blue ringed octopus. Ignorance. Eating ass puts you at greater risk for oral cancer and having your ass eating puts you at greater risk for an L cancer. Eating ass is to be the strangest asshole act I've ever heard of. I have no idea why it's normalized. People joining a protest because everyone is doing it and not because they want to fight for a cause. During a pandemic. One thing people don't really think about as dangerous is fishing. When I was younger. I remember that my dad's friend took me fishing with his son. I remember that. My dad's friend's son. Tried to hook a piece of bait to the end of the string. But he never realized that the hook was sharp. So when he put it on. He got the hook through his finger and it came out the other side of his finger. It is clear as day and I think I was traumatized from it. I'm only 19 and it happened when I was 7. Sorry for the long post by the way. Bandwagoning. When everyone basically adopts a hive mind and everyone collectively does the same thing even if it's wrong. Reddit mods who manipulate information. Having unprotected sx. I have a couple friends that are girls that have had sx with over a hundred people each and neither of them make the guys they are sleeping with use condoms or even suggest it. That is horrifying to me. Like playing Russian roulette with your life and future. Dehydrogen monoxide. Everyone who comes into contact with the stuff is going to die sooner or later. Babies die on average 80 years after consuming it. Religious indoctrination. Sticking your finger up a pit bull's ass. There is a myth that if you stick your finger up there. The dog would let go if it was biting you. Don't do this as all it would is make the dog madder. Not a pit bull but I actually done this to a Staffordshire Bull Terrier when I was in a pub. The Staffy had locked onto this other dog and no one was doing jack shti so I thought I would be a hero and finger its ass. Sadly it did not work and I got my finger covered in dog shti and a reputation as a dog molester. Political parties. People start aligning with the group and pay less attention to policies and issues. It's just another form of tribalism. Lost memories. Forgetfulness in general. Really. You might think that. Even with some lapses or a somewhat bad memory. You're fine. After all. It's just small stuff. Anyone can remind you of it. That's how you get careless. 
and the chance of it being an issue becomes just another lost thought. Adrift without ever crossing your mind again. You see. It might appear to be small stuff only. But here's a little spoiler. Forgetfulness is anything but picky. Since losing apparently worthless stuff isn't something you keep in mind. The very issue will stay beneath suspicion. Now all that needs to happen is for you to forget about someone or something you cannot afford to. And by the time you become aware that you did. Well. Shti has well and truly hit the fan and dried up on the walls. Good luck ever fixing that. And good luck getting to trust your own memory again. Tylenol. Read the label and don't take too much. Just a bit more than the recommended dose can be deadly. Not pooping. Koalas. Despite looking cute and cuddly they can seriously injure you. They have extremely sharp claws and are physically very strong. Drinking alcohol. Even in moderation. Recent studies have shown it can increase several types of cancer. And cause damage to your liver. I'll be the person to say cannabis. While it's one of the least harmful drugs it can still do quite a bit of damage. I've struggled with an addiction to it and I know what it can do. It can really screw up your memory and cognitive abilities and smoking anything isn't good for your lungs. I only vape now. It's a beautiful plant but it can be abused and it can do a lot more damage than what meets the eye. Hippos. Prolapsing Alanus. Water. Especially if we're talking about rivers and sea. A lot of accidents and deaths happen there. People. People are dumb. Panicky dangerous animals and you know it. Oh in 2020. Going the FCK outside. Full stop. Authoritarianism. Cops. Chinese government. Stupid people with power. Giving birth. It's natural. Cool. Still a million things that can go wrong. For both the one laboring and the one being born. Natural doesn't mean harmless. Dying is also natural. One that springs to mind for me is flushing your sinuses I. E. Putting water up your nose. If done with straight tap water brain eating amoeba can kill you. Canadian Goose. Canada's true apex predator. Mixing alcohol with energy drinks. I've seen some things. Man. Alcohol poisoning is very real. The party is usually over once the ambulance is called.